Hello everyone. Uh, our lesson today will be about uh, communication and network concepts. Uh, what do we mean by saying network? Uh, network is actually um, uh, multiple computers, one or more than one computer, are connected to each other using uh, optical vi uh, fiber or wireless or any cables uh, to connect each other by using the internet. So by using the internet, you can send, receive emails, um, a video, pictures, anything uh, from uh, one city to another city or from uh, one office to another office or from one computer to another computer. So by using the internet, you can do or you can make the world smaller uh, by connecting uh, to the internet. So our lesson today will be just about communication and network concept. So for uh, the objective for this lesson will be uh, to identify the meaning of the network, need for networking, and uh, third will be about evaluation of networking, uh, switching technologies, uh, tran transmission media, data communication technologies. And we will describe as well uh, the identify of types of media, network topologies, network devices, communication protocols, and at the end we will describe uh, how wireless and mobile communicate, uh, computing are working. So network is in computer science is a group of computers are connected or associ associated uh, devices uh, that are connected communication facilities. So one computer to another computer are connecting to each other by server or by using the optical fiber to connect to the each other. So network is an interconnected connect, uh, collection of autonomous computers. And when two or more computers are connected or joined together so that they are capable of exchanging information, they uh, form network. So when they are exchanging information, they are a form of a network as we see here. Need of networking, for networking, resource share, uh, sharing, reliability, reduced cost, fast communication. For resource uh, sh uh, sharing, through the internet or through the network, we, sh we can uh, share some uh, data, like video or uh, um, video, pictures, uh, audio, anything you would like, or send an email. So by using the internet, it's easier and you can save time and save money as, at the same time. Rather than you go to the post office and you send an email to someone, you just uh, have the uh, other person email and you can send him through the internet. So resource, resource sharing through a network data, we can share data, software, and hardware resources can be shared of a typical of the physical location of the resources and the user. So between one user to another user, and you can make it, make it multiple, between one user to another, like 100 users or 10 users, as much as you can. Reliability, a file can have its copies on two or more computers of the network. Third, reduced cost. It's, it's actually very good to uh, to uh, share things bet, uh, through the internet. This way, you like uh, you save uh, saving money, saving time, save everything. So by using the internet, okay, so times you have to pay once in a month for the company that you are using the internet from, but still, it's very um, cheap than rather than sending it by the post office or you have to wait for one month until he receive it. The second user will receive it, and it is very fast communication. Information can be exchanged at a very fast speed. So uh, by, by using very fast speed, we are meaning of uh, the internet, like the, the speed of the internet through your uh, device to the, the second device. So it depends how much you load on your email or uh, from your file or from the browser. It depends on the speed of the internet. Evaluation of network. In 1969, first user were using the internet. It was the U.S. Debit, the U.S. Army. 
started Advanced Research Project Agency Network. The goal was to connect different universities and the U.S. defense. So this is the, was the goal of the U.S. debit to use the internet or the network. So to connect different universities and U.S. defense to exchange data as well. People, exchange, people exchanged info and played games and expanded rapidity. Evaluation of network. In the, mid, in the mid of 80s, National Science Foundation created a high capacity, capacity network called NSFNet. So NFSNet was made in 1980s. So by the National uh, Science Foundation. And the academic allowed used to private business. So and now, as we're doing it here, one example, one big example of the network as we do one now, uh, online uh, distant learning. So by you are sitting home or you are at your office or somewhere else, you can watch our video and you can uh, learn from our video. This is how network in internet. This is one uh, example of how we share it. Or I load the midterm exam over online and you guys can answer it. This is what, what mit, uh, network mean. So many private companies build their own network uh, as we do in here which were later interconnected along with the um, uh, Airfant and NSFNet to form internet. So between these two companies, they build the internet uh, network. ARPANet was shut down in 1990s. So in 1990s, it was shut down. Government funding for NSFNet is connected in 1995 built but commercial services can into the scenario which are still running the internet so the commercial scenario will start running the internet as we see in this graph there are uh, computers here which is we call it uh, the the internet here this one is the server by using this server we can connect this computer to this server so this is what network mean many computers multiple computers are connected to uh, the server as we see here as well so all of them are connected to each other by using server most computers are not connecting directly to the internet they are connected the smaller networks which are connected through getaways to the internet backbone so this is our getaways but they are all connected to each other so this is how it's work in uh, the network. What do we mean by saying getaway? Getaway is a device that connect this smaller networks and it's a backbone, it's a central interconnection structure that connects one or more network just like the trunk of the trees. So this is, as we see here, it's like a trunk of a tree. As we see here, one server are connected here by using, by using the same connecting of router. And this is the backbone router. So this one delivers to A, delivers to uh, router B, and delivers to C. And at the same time, we exchange it from A to the back router or to B, or it goes again to C. So this B, router B, it connects it to the all computers in here through a server by using IB, Internet Protocol. So by using the Internet Protocol, we can uh, know the size or know the destination of this group. As we see here as well, by these computers connected again to the getaway, backbone is here, the same IB address in here, but different in here. So each line has a different IB address for the each computer. So a backbone is a central interconnection structure that connects one or more networks, just like a trunk of three. How does in internet work? At the source computer, the message to the B sent broken into small packets, small parts. We call it packets. So we, uh, we divide it into small parts. We call it packets. 
So each packet is a given, uh, we give it as a serial number uh, from 1 to 10 or from 1 to 100 as it goes in the network. So, but all these packets are sent to the uh, to the uh, to the destination computer. I'm sorry. E the destination computer receive the packets in the random order. Uh, like let's say uh, 10 comes first and then number 1 uh, goes later on. But this is how it goes by random order. So 10 might go come before 1. So it doesn't have to come like 1 2 3. It might come 10 or 1 first. It doesn't matter. The packets are resembled in the order of their and message is restored. How it is function smoothly? Every computer connected to the internet uses the same set of rules for communication. This is number one. And second, set of rules is called protocol. We're gonna to come and talk about protocol as well, internet protocol. Communication protocol used by the internet. It's TCP, Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. The TCP is a transmission control protocol. Part is responsible for dividing the message into packets. So we divide the message into packets and the source computer and resembling them at the destination computer. The IB, the Internet Protocol, is responsible for uh, handing the address of the destination. So this is the function of the Internet Protocol. protocol. It handles the address of the destination computer so that the packet is sent to a proper destination. So by using or by uh, typing in the email, uh, I'm going to send this email to my friend. So the packet, the Internet Protocol, uh, will locate this IP address, the location and the destination, I mean, and it's sent to it. So by using the internet protocol, it uh, locates the destination. A future internet, internet space, is a client or a server software program that allows multiple users to communicate online with a real-time audio, video, text, chat in dynamic 3D environments so interspace a client programs if we can share uh, video text as we said here text video by dynamic 3d environments this is what means for a future internet interspace using 3d dynamic environments as we see here a few terms related to the network workstation so as we see here there's a server the master this one we call it the master and the rest are slave. So this is node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each computer we node it. Um, this computer called the server. Facility through sharing data, software, hardware. We can share through this server hardware and software. So we can exchange it between this to this or this uh, node 1 to node 5 or node 1 to node 4 or node 3 so we can exchange between all of them through a server which is the master we call it and these are the slave of the uh, network two types of servers non detected server and detected server in here we have workstation double doubles up the server and in detected server we have only one computer reserved for server job slower in non-detected and here is faster and in this one it requires more memory so in here as uh, is it slower and in here it's faster in detected server but this one requires more memory in this one non-detected servers we use in a small networks called pair to pair network in this one we call it such as server as we said in here the previous one uh, this one it means detected server by the master server we call it detected server and the rest are as i said before are slave network so the master and the rest are all of them are a slave network interface unit niu 
I'm going to ask you about uh, the deficiency of an IU or uh, internet protocol or TCB protocol. So you have to put in your mind what, is, uh, what does it mean. So uh, an IU is a device attached to each workstation and a server. So it's a device that is uh, attached to the workstation and the server. So it's connected to each other. To help to make connection within the network, and each an, uh, IU has a unique no identifying it called node address. So by the node address, we know it. An IU is called a terminal access point, TAP. And it's also called network interface card. Network, it, uh, so each computer has a network interface card. So by the using the, the network card, you can connect or you can log into uh, the internet by using a cable or by using a router, at least nowadays. Each network, each, uh, as we said, a network interface unit is given a unique physical address. So each one has a physical address called MAC address. So by each one, it has to be a node address between uh, all of them. It's called MAC address. This is very important, MAC address. How data is transmitted across the network. So how it is shared by uh, the master uh, server or the workstation to the node 1 or to node 5 or to node 100. Switching technologies are used for transmission data across the network. Second, three types of switching techniques are there. Circuit sw switching, this is number one. Second, message switching, and the third one will be packet switching. So these are the three types of switching, circuit, message, and packet. Circuit switching, a physical connection between the two computers. So it's a physical connection between one computer to another computer is established. And then, then the data, data is transmitted from this one to another one. So from A to B or from node 1 to node 2. So th this is how it is transmitted between the computers. Uh, transmitted from a source to a destination computer. When a computer places a telephone call, the switching equipment within the telephone system seeks out of a physical cover path for a sender to a receiver telephone. So from here to here, this is the end of the node. And it can be from here again to this one again, from through A, B, C, D. So this is how it goes, from a uh, started node to the end node. It's set up end to end connection between computers before any data can be sent. So it set up end, up, uh, end to end connection before it sends the destination or the file or the data between them. Message switching, the, uh, the source computers send uh, the data to the switching office first, which is stores the data in the buffer. So in here as well, it send the message to the switch, as we see here in A, B, and C, and D. Then it then looks for the free link to another switching office, and then send the data to the his office, or to, the, uh, to this office. So from here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here, it depends. A processor is connected, uh, contained, till the data is delivered between the destination computers, it's also known as the stored and the forward techniques. And back at switching, there is a tight appear limit and the block size in the message switching. And there was no appear limit. A fixed side of the packet is specified. Uh, uh, All the packets are stored in the main memory in the switching office in the message switching packets. packets are stored on the disk, and this has increased the performance of uh, the destination access time and reduce. So this is how actually it works, the network, between the three uh, packets. Three types of switching techniques are there, circuit and message, and the last one, it's packet. This is how it techniques. 
So that's it for our today, for our lesson. We spoke about network, how it's connected to each other, which type of uh, communication, which type of uh, types of uh, server or workstation has been made to interconnect uh, the computer, computers to each other by sending or receiving data uh, through the internet or through a network, uh, using data uh, or sending data, messages, video, uh, etc. So by using this techniques, the network, which has been made by the U.S. Army in 1969, and it developed it in 1980s, in the mid of 80s, uh, until now we are going, uh, growing in the network by uh, making it bigger from one country to another country or to the rest of the world. So it makes world very smaller. Thank you for today. I see you for next week.